Assalamu alaikum and uh, back again with another data engineering project. This time, uh, smartphone price prediction in a big data environment using the Lambda architecture pattern, which is a big data architecture. I have developed a system that predicts smartphone price in real time while also providing comprehensive batch analysis capabilities. So we have five layers, ingestion layer using Kafka for real-time data ingestion from the API. In the stream layer, we have XGBoost model for real-time price estimation. And in the real-time view, we have each base for storing the prediction. In the batch layer, we have uh, HDFS as the data lake solution. In this project, we have PySpark for data transformation. And in the batch view, we have PostgreSQL to store the transformed data. And uh, of course, we have Apache Aeroflow for batch pipeline orchestration. And finally, in the visualization layer, we have the Spring Boot application for real-time price visualization. And finally, a Power BI dashboard for batch analysis. So for the batch users, we have this Power BI dashboard. And for real-time visualization, we have a Spring Boot application. And here is the user interface. We have the data and the predicted price or the estimated price. So to run the project, uh, firstly, we will run the stream layer, then the batch layer. I will show you how you can uh, uh, run the stream layer. Firstly, we should start the Apache Zookeeper with this command, then the Kafka server, and then we have to create a Kafka topic. The name of the topic is smartphone topic. Then we run the Kafka producer and the Kafka consumer. And also we should start HDFS with this command start all, or you can use these two commands start DFS and start yarn. And uh, we should run also each base with this command start each base and finally start thrift server with this command each base thrift start I will run all these components and I will be back to you and we will run after that the spring boot application we can check that all the components are running successfully with this command gps command we have a resource manager, we have a current peer main uh, for the zookeeper. Uh, uh, we have node manager, boot language server boot app or spring boot, name node, data node, uh, Kafka, uh, thrift server. We have the producer and the consumer, uh, spring tool suite for, for the, uh, the Java, uh, is an IDO for Java. Uh, we have also each master. So now let's execute the script to run the stream layer. Now let's go to the Spring Tools to run the Spring Boot application. It's in the port 8080. And as you see, it works in real time. We have another version of this application developed using uh, uh, Flask Micro Framework. Let's run the Flask application. Here is the Flask application. It's the same like the Spring Boot application. Now let's run the batch layer. Firstly, we have Apache Airflow, then Apache Spark, then Apache Zookeeper, the Kafka server, the producer and the consumer, and HDFS, a distributed file system. So in the batch pipeline, we have the database big data project is the name. Also, we have one table, phone table with seven columns, brand, screen size, RAM, ROM, SIM type, battery, and the price. And for now, the table is empty. Also, the dashboard is empty, which is logic. 
because we don't have data yet. So now let's run the batch pipeline. Each 30 seconds, the data will be retrieved from HDFS, as you see in the architecture. Each 30 seconds, the data will be retrieved from HDFS, and Spark will do some transformation on it, and the transformed data will be stored in Postgre database. And finally, the dashboard will be updated. So let's see. As you see, the dashboard is updated after the data is stored in a Postgre database. The dashboard is updated successfully. Also, in the Postgre database, we have now data. We have 23 records. In the dashboard, we can see some insight. For example, the number of phones by a brand. For example, we have three Samsung phones. We have 22 phones with double cards and uh, some other uh, uh, some other insights so that's all i hope you find it inspiring and clear feel free to connect if you have any question and see you in another project